see. Okay, so here we have seed inoculant that we use for our beans, peanuts, peas, things like that, what we call legumes. You hear me talk about hairy vetch all the time. And this is a very important thing to have in your garden. Uh, what this does is it, this is kind of the magic you know, powder, the pixie dust. If there's ever a pixie dust and magic powder for gardening, it's this seed inoculant stuff. What it does, it's, it's, it's a microbe. You don't want to breathe it. Do not breathe this stuff. Just bad idea. But typically, and I'll, and I'll record some videos of this probably later on the, in the growing season, uh, what you do is you take this stuff and you put a t table, teaspoon on it in a bowl. When you go to plant your beans, you put it in there, maybe a drop of molasses in it. And what that does is it gets the microbes uh, activated and already on the seeds so that when uh, what, the, what they do is they live on the seeds of beans, on, they live on the root systems and they fix nitrogen into the soil. They suck it out of the air and store it under the ground so that it'll be available to the next generation, the next um, planting of vegetables. And so the idea is I always buy one of these packets every single growing season and it does have an expiration date. You see it says, uh, uh, it says uh, December 31st, uh, 2011 and this is, this is almost, we're almost expired. They don't like the sun and, and I have not used any, I don't use anywhere near enough in, in one season. So usually what I do is I'll just come out here and just like I do everything else just sprinkle some there and just kind of cover them up just to kind of get rid of them and uh, they'll be there all winter and I'll just do that and, and get rid of them because I, I never use a whole packet and it's so cost effective and yet it's basically free nitrogen for your soil without having to buy it and uh, and that's one way to continue to uh, um, uh, keep your garden uh, fertilizing itself and so you don't have to have so many inputs. And that's really what organic gardening is all about, just reducing the amount of inputs that you can put in. And uh, hey, if you want some more information on making and growing your own fertilizer, and making, growing, and using your own, the right way to use your own fertilizer, just go on over to greenhorngardening.com forward slash claim and get your free download on exactly how to make, using, and uh, your own organic fertilizer. See you later. Bye-bye.